Playing with Power MTG now has a Patreon. When you support us on Patreon, you can get early access to deck lists, videos, and Patreon only videos like commentary, raw footage, and more. Check out the link in the description below and subscribe today. Playing with Power is also supported by Flipside Gaming. When you use the promo code POWER in all caps, you get 10% off orders, $10 or more. It saves you money and helps us out at the same time. Finally, please subscribe to us on social media. You can find us on Twitter and Facebook. Check out the description below and subscribe today. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Playing With Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Another round is here, and we have a guest joining us tonight. He built a formidable deck and wants to see how it does at the CEDH table. We all agreed, shuffle up, and let's see how tonight's match turns out. So let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have newcomer James, piloting God Eternal Kefnet. This deck aims to abuse Kefnet's ability to take infinite turns and beat down their opponents. This is his first foray into competitive EDH, and we wish him luck at the table. Next, we have Mike, piloting the first sliver. This deck aims to combo off with the food chain combo, casting its entire deck, and winning through a multitude of win cons. Mike is excited to see how this food chain deck stacks up in the meta. After that, we have Garrett, piloting the three color combo of Silas Wren and Thrasios, Triton Hero. This deck aims to grind out value from the graveyard to cast its combo pieces for the win. Finally, we have Ryan, piloting Brea, Ethereum Shaper. This reanimator slash doomsday deck looks to set up its combos fast with the World Gorger Dragon and Bomberman combos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Garrett wins the 100 layer challenge and gets to start us off. But Ryan has a pregame action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Mystical Tutor from his hand. Garrett plays a Windswept Heath and passes. James plays an island for turn, and passes. At the end of James' turn, Garrett cracks his windswept teeth for a bayou. Ryan plays an exotic orchard for turn. He plays a mox diamond, discarding Cavern of Souls. He ends his turn. Mike plays a command tower for turn. He casts an Avacyn's Pilgrim and gives the turn over to Garrett. At the end of Mike's turn, Garrett cycles Baron Moore to draw a card. Garrett plays a flooded grove for turn. He casts a bloom tender. He ends his turn. James plays an island for turn. He casts up Mystic Remora. The fish resolves, and he ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan plays a City of Brass for turn. He taps his City of Brass to cast Doomsday. James responds by casting Force of Will, exiling Rapid Hybridization, and paying one life. With that, the Doomsday is countered. Ryan ends his turn. Mike plays a Tundra for turn. He casts Food Chain. James responds by casting Swan Song, countering Food Chain. James asks everyone if he is the one who's going to have to stop everyone from going off this game, and Mike passes the turn. Garrett plays a Sunken Ruin for turn. He casts a Mox Amber. After that, he casts his commander, Silas Wren. He passes. James pays for his Mystic Remora on his upkeep. He plays an Island for turn. He casts Merchant Scroll. Merchant Scroll resolves, and he fetches up a Force of Negation. He gives the turn to Ryan. Ryan plays a Tundra for turn. He thinks for a second, and decides to pass the turn. On his turn, Mike casts Extract. Garrett responds by casting Nature's Claim, targeting James's Mystic Remora. Mystic Remora dies, and James gains four life. With Extract still on the stack, he casts Counterspell, countering Extract. Mike plays a Breeding Pool into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Demonic Tutor, fetching up a card into his hand. After that, he casts his own copy of Mystic Remora. James responds by casting Force of Negation, exiling Disallow from his hand. Mr. Grimora is countered and exiled, and Mike ends his turn. Garrett plays an Exotic Orchard for turn. He casts his other commander, Thrasios. He follows up by casting Search for Azkanta. He attacks Ryan with Silas and gives the turn over to James. James plays an Island for turn. He casts a Commander Sphere. He passes. Ryan casts an Entomb. Entomb resolves, and he fetches up a Lion's Eye Diamond into his graveyard. With nothing else, he ends his turn. Mike plays a Marsh Flats for turn. He casts Vexing Shusher. He passes. At the end of Mike's turn, Garrett activates Thrasios, scrying and revealing an Umizawa's Jeet. During his upkeep, Garrett's search for Azkanta triggers, and he mills a Swan Song. In his main phase, Garrett casts his Umizawa's Jeet. In response, Mike cracks his Marsh Flats for an Underground Sea. After that, he casts Delay 
targeting the Jeet. Jeet is countered and exiled with three time counters on it. Next, Garrett casts Gilded Drake. Gilded Drake resolves and he exchanges control of the Drake and Vexing Shusher. With nothing else, he passes. On his turn, James casts a Mind Stone. Afterward, he casts Jace, the Mind Sculptor. He activates Jace's zero ability to brainstorm, drawing three and then putting two back on top of his library. He casts a Mana Crypt and then passes the turn to Ryan. On his turn, Ryan casts a Mystic Remora. With nothing else, he passes. Mike starts out his turn by casting Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Garrett responds by casting Mana Drain, countering Mike's Jace. He attacks Garrett with Gilded Drake and then passes the turn. During his upkeep, Garrett's search for Azkanta triggers and he mills a lonely sandbar into his graveyard and transforms search for Azkanta into Azkanta the Sunken Ruin. In his main phase, he casts Golgari Signet. He activates his Thrasios with his Mana Drain mana, scrying and revealing a frantic search. He passes. James loses his Mana Crypt trigger on his upkeep and loses 3 life. He activates Jace for 0 to Brainstorm. He plays a Misty Rainforest for turn. He cracks it for an island. After that, he casts his commander, God Eternal Kefman. He follows up by casting Temporal Manipulation. Garrett responds by activating Azkanta, looking at the top four and revealing a dramatic reversal. With that, Temporal Manipulation resolves, and James passes the turn to, well, himself. At the end of James's turn, Garrett casts Dramatic Reversal, untapping all of his non-land permanents. He taps again to activate Thrasios. He scries a card and reveals Delay. During his upkeep on his extra turn, James loses his Mana Crypt trigger and loses 3 life. He plays an Island for turn. He casts a Nexus of Fate. Garrett responds with his recently acquired Delay. James responds by casting Twin Cast, targeting his Nexus of Fate. Twin Cast resolves, copying Nexus of Fate, and Delay counters and exiles the original and puts 3 time counters on it. He activates Jace's zero ability to brainstorm. He casts a Lotus Petal. He attacks Garrett with Kefnet and passes the turn to, well, himself again. During his upkeep, James loses his Mana Crypt trigger and loses 3 life. When he draws his card for turn, he reveals a Beacon of Tomorrows through Kefnet. He copies Beacon of Tomorrows and casts the copy, paying for Ryan's Mystic Remora. In response, Ryan taps the City of Brass to cast Pyroblast, targeting the Beacon. James responds by casting Pact of Negation. Pyroblast is countered, Beacon of Tomorrow's resolves, and James shuffles his library. James activates Jace's zero ability to Brainstorm. Everyone sees now that he can take infinite turns with his cycle of Brainstorming through Jace and recasting the Beacon, so everyone starts to formulate a solution. James attacks Garrett with Kefnet and passes the turn to himself once again. During his upkeep, multiple triggers go onto the stack. James loses his Mana Crypt trigger and loses 3 life again. He removes a Delay counter from his Nexus of Fate, and he pays for his Pact of Negation. During his draw step, his Kefnet triggers and he reveals a Beacon of Tomorrows again. He copies and casts it, and Ryan responds by casting Flusterstorm. The spell is countered, and James has finally been derailed. He activates Jace's zero ability again to Brainstorm. He plays an Island for turn, and reluctantly has to pass the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan lets his Mystic Remora die, which is a bad sign. He plays a Scrubland for turn. He casts a Soul Ring. He then casts Ariok Salvagers. He activates the Salvagers, returning Lion's Eye Diamond from his graveyard to his hand. He casts his Lion's Eye Diamond. He cracks his Diamond, discarding his hand and adding three white to his mana pool. He uses two of that white to activate Ariok again, returning Lion's Eye Diamond to his hand and netting one white mana. He demonstrates his loot by recasting Lion's Eye over and over, gaining infinite white mana. He then sinks his infinite white into Ariok and then uses Lion's Eye Diamond to generate infinite blue, black, and red. He uses his infinite mana to cast Brea, Ethereum Shaper. Brea resolves and enters with two Thopters. He sacrifices Brea and a Thopter to Brea's first ability to hit a player for three. He uses his infinite mana to recast and sacrifice Brea over and over until the table is dead. Table! Ladies and gentlemen, that was a very interesting game. Everyone thought that the game was over once James started his infinite turn loop, but instead of accepting defeat, they still tried to dig for answers. Once James was dethroned, Ryan took advantage of the opportunity and went for the win. A big thanks to James for bringing out his Kefnet deck and showing us its power potential. Mike's first Sliver deck had just as much explosive potential as Ryan's deck, but it drew a lot of hate from the knowledge of how food chain combos work. 
Garrett's Silas Thrasios deck ended up trying to control the board and couldn't get going before Brea got the win. That about does it for this episode. Tune in next time where we will see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.